Hey folks, so today I'm going to attempt another stretch, not my septum this time, not my nipples this time. I'm going to try and stretch up my RPA or my reverse Prince Albert. It's at 6mm at the moment and I'm looking to stretch it up to 7 So my jewellery came in today. So I've got a closed ball ring. This one, this one's a screw in. Because the thicker the, the ring becomes, the harder it is to take the balls out. So if I unscrew it, it comes like that. This is a really well made one. When it's screwed in, there's absolutely no space on the other side either, so it won't get caught or anything like that. I did get a 7mm stretcher as well. And it's concaved on the inside. I did try lining it up to see how it would go, but because of the angles, it doesn't quite sit flat, but we'll give it a try anyway. And to do this, what I'm going to have to do is, I bought one of these a long time ago. And I did mean to order a smaller pair, but I got this massive one. The reason being is my 6mm that I've got, it's I have to open it up to get the to release the ball from it. So that's what I've got as well. The best way to, to go about it is to soak your your penis in some hot water, not too hot some hot water and what it will hopefully do is just loosen up the, the fistula a little bit and um, just to make that stretching a little bit easier hopefully I say but we'll give it a try that will be the difference in size not much of a difference but It'll definitely be a tight squeeze. So I've got my water-based lube. I always use a water base because the body absorbs the, the lubrication. All I'm going to do is get a plenty of lube. I have washed my hands. I have used antibacterial soaps. Normally I wear gloves. I ran out of gloves, especially with this COVID thing going on. So I'm going to go from the bottom up. So it slips in. And this is where it starts to get tight. So you want to do it slowly. You don't want to rush it, and um, you don't want to cause tears, so just little bit by little bit, if you just keep a little bit of pressure on it, hopefully it just eventually slides all the way in. I've used other methods, I've um, used um, plumbing tape around jewellery, giving it that extra little stretch before going to the full stretch a couple of days later. But yeah, this is a tight one. Getting there, slowly going through. Again, that soak helps it. You know, you go to a piercer, they'll, <clears throat> they'll just wang it in straight away and the, the pain's over and done with. But when you're doing it yourself and you're stretching it yourself, your your body doesn't let you do that. Just go back a little bit. Put, put on some more lube, lube. If you have to. 
Move it up and down a little bit, it just sort of like creates more lube going through the hole, through the fistula. So try coming in from underneath. Like I said, there's a, it seems to be a slightly a little bit wider, just at the tips. It's making it more difficult to go through. So my first attempt was a fail. I tried it and I tried it and it just it wasn't going through. Like I said, the the very opening of the ring just seemed to be ever so slightly wider, or maybe it was just the angle and the the way that it was that it was cut um, just made it a little bit harder to get through. So I took the taper out and I used some plumber's tape, which I mean it's like ribbon thin. I used that and I just wrapped it round once, maybe twice round the taper and reinserted it and I managed to get the ring in. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's very comfortable. It's a bit more weighty than my previous ring but all in all it was alright so it just goes to show that not every stretch goes according to, to plan. Um, just a matter of trial and error, tweak it here, tweak it there, and finally you get it through. So I'm happy with it. Any comments, any questions, anything you want to know, please just leave a, a comment down below and I'll get back to you and I'll answer your, your questions or your queries. Take care.